Cicero composed the De Officii in the fall of 44 BC on the heels of the Great Roman Civil War. During the months leading up to the composition of the Off, Cicero contemplated the downfall of the Roman Republic and the loss of civic virtue amongst the Romans. These ruminations can be read in his Epistule ad Atticum. On the surface the Off is a didactic and moral exhortation to his indolent son Marcus, who was studying in Athens at the time of the work's composition. On a deeper level of the off, is a comprehensive ethical treatise written in part for a wider Roman audience. Cicero wants to describe a practical way for his countrymen to reclaim the glory of the waning Roman Republic. The Hippolytus myth came down to posterity through two principal sources, Euripides Hippolytus and Seneca's Phaedra. Cicero seemed to be more familiar with the Senecan version, Walsh 132. Numerous similarities exist between the legend of Hippolytus and the Oth. First, Hippolytus and Marcus Minor share likeness of behavior and status. Hippolytus is an anomaly, an unmarried, young, virgin man. He has not yet contributed to the social good by settling down and starting a family. He spends his time in pleasurable pursuits hunting and philosophizing. He is not a degenerate or immature. On the contrary, he is chaste and pious. Nevertheless, he is strange and bears the characteristics of a male adolescent despite his virtue. Second, with regard to status, Hippolytus lies in the shadow of his accomplished father Theseus, renowned for his heroic deeds. Hippolytus never matches the glory and honor of his father's reputation. Marcus Minor also possesses that juvenility of an aimless young man. His lack of diligence even prompted his father to write the off. He still resides in juvenescence at the time of the off. S. Composition. Marcus has not yet entered into serious service for his community and nation. He is unmarried and has still not completed his education. Like Hippolytus, Marcus Minor's status is that of a son in possibly position next to a towering paternal career. The political and literary accomplishments of his father, Cicero, are myriad. These themes of fatherly relationships and social duties are only a few of the several associations between the Hippolytus myth and the Oth. Other shared motifs include disobedience to the natural law as a threat to good social order, and powerful men who succeed in the political sphere but fail in their individual personal sphere. A great discrepancy exists between the amount of treatment Cicero gives the Hippolytus story in his off, and the story's importance to his philosophical treatise. Given the close connections between Cicero's rhetorical aim for writing the off, and the Hippolytus myth, why does Cicero give the Greek legend only passing treatment?